That should be enough. Now well, I need a drink. Mm. Now, I don't know about you, but after an exhausting day in the garden, mowing the lawn, taking care of the flowers, I like to relax with an alcohol-free beer. And besides, it's Oktoberfest season here in Germany, so I think this all fits in perfectly. Now, this sounds like we're going to be talking about food and beverages today, but we're actually talking about hoses. Now, hoses are not only used to transport water from A to B, but also for many other things in our daily life. And I'd like to welcome Cengiz Chitlak from our hose experts at Continental to talk to us. Cengiz, nice to have you. Yeah, thanks for having me. I gotta tell you, you look more like a fireman with that hose over your shoulder, though. Yeah, with regards to your thirst, it sounds like, but probably you already have been in touch with this hose. I'm just tr trying to stay hydrated, you know? So tell us what this uh, has to do with your field of expertise. Yeah, let me start with, with this example here. So it's a hose, which uh, is having different layers. You can see here the inner layer, mm -hmm. the reinforcement, and here we have the cartridge. That's pretty thick. Yeah, absolutely. And this is a special hose for breweries. The special thing about this is the inner layer, where we are completely compliant with all the regulation and all the standards okay. required. Okay. This is for the beverage side or the brewery side. Mm -hmm. And here we also have uh, another one, which is more used in dairies. And we're not only talking about beverages like beer and orange juice. There's probably a lot more, right? A lot of more. So just give you an uh, idea about that. It's dairies, milk, cheese, butter. Yogurt, meat. <laughs> and trail mix. That is a lot. Now you mentioned a lot of fluids, but also granulate materials like trail mix at the end. Yeah. What's the biggest difference between these when conveying them through hoses? We have here a specialty, which is helpful if you look to conductivity. When I rub a balloon on my head. Exactly. Uh -huh. That's a good example. So you see here we have the same effect for the hose, but this hose is capable to get rid of the conductivity. That is crazy and amazing at the same time. I didn't know you actually had to do something like that. Uh, but what's also cool is that you can equip each hose with a special ability, right? Absolutely. Looking, for example, for this type of hose. So here we do also have a plastic right. inner liner, but right. without conductivity, because here a different uh, application plays a role. Can you imagine what problems occur with curry, for example? Uh, besides that it tastes really good. Stains? Yeah. True. Right. Let's try it. Okay. So you want me to put some on there, right? Absolutely. That's going to be nice stains. Oh, okay. You want me to mess it up? There we absolutely. go. How about that? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> smells good. Yeah. I have a napkin here. And you will see. Look at that. Good. Comes out perfectly clean. Yeah. Now that looks pretty good and looks easy to clean, of course, with this uh, prop we have here. But how do I look inside? How do I know there's nothing left? For cleaning purpose, we're using steam. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we have to look inside. Ah, you look inside with, let me guess, one of these. Am I right? Wow. Yes. That's an endoscope. Yes. And we can perfectly use this one to look inside a hose. I have here another example of a state-of-the-art and high-quality swage fittings that we recommend for mm -hmm. the market. Mm -hmm. And we are now looking inside. We can see the swaging, which is important to judge. And you. I just love the gimmicks we have here on the show. I know how it works. And I hope you do also, ladies and gentlemen. There's one more thing we need to do, and that is take a picture. So, Cengiz, you ready? On three. One, two, three. That's going to be a fantastic picture. So, thank you very much for coming out. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, absolutely, Chris. I hope you enjoyed it also, and be sure to tune in again next time for the new episode of The Garage. Until then, take good care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.